beautiful creatures. What is it? It's a promenade performance featuring the work of many artists. What kind of artists? Painters, sculptors, musicians, fireworkers, freaks, and my own performance company, Mischief Lapa. And who the hell are you? Mr. Smith, artistic director. I devised the show and invited the artists to collaborate. What theme? Iconic mythological fairy tale images involving pain. Well, pain's a universal thing, isn't it? Oh my gosh! come and see a thing like Painful Creatures was a real eye-opener. It's not what I think people were expecting. We had a beautiful tree, perfect tree for dangling people in Falkirk. Well, after working for weeks and weeks in the music, it was uh, pretty special to hear it played in the open air and actually see people's reaction to the sort of visuals and the music together. For me, this was a great opportunity to make um, a major new piece of work um, and to work um, with in a kind of theatrical um, setting. And I'm going to be strapped to a tree. I was based on the image of the goddess Kali singing a nice Bollywood tune. It's the possibility to invent a new character and investigating St. Sebastian, and he's been the subject of so many different artists throughout the years. I was luring, or trying to lure, the ship's crew and the galleon into my lair. We had 12 students from the, the Royal Scottish Academy of Music and Drama who were going to be performing in the piece at uh, various locations throughout the, the site. But as well as this, they helped us with the rigging, they helped guard the pieces before the show went up, and they also helped de-rig. And it's enthusiasm like that from young people that made the kind of older performers in the company pull their weight and come together. And it really was a kind of bonding thing that happened. pretty strange requests for music from collaborators. For example, we had to create Roman music, or Roman epic music, with a fairground feel. We had to produce snake charmer music that didn't sound like Carry On Cleopatra. And essentially we had to create uh, the sound of torture and all sorts of nastiness. We wanted to do a, a repetitive, multiple kind of sculpture installation using some um, sort of impaled human or um, heads, but the heads ended up being um, restful, serene, kind of ghostly images. And the idea of a mechanical martyr, somebody being burned for a laugh, or uh, in some way a kind of audience involvement in the the, the burning of a the burning of a pseudo pseudo religious figure. So, um, so in this case, we've made a pyre, um, and that, that's what draws people to the to burning. It's the sense of destruction and chaos. An actual burning wicker figure against the the dark sky is just a, a fantastic image. It's nice to take uh, performances to places where people don't expect a performance to happen. We were in the territory of the young people, their hangout or whatever, but I don't think they'd really ever encountered anyone looking quite so blue and with about ten octopus legs. We've 
already done some uh, quite significant collaborations for the very first Painful Creatures, but I'm really looking forward to collaborating with artists from uh, Europe. So, that was people dangling from trees. Next, we're going to string them up from lampposts. Hopefully there'll be like international artists who are like prepared to like put in the same sort of energy as we've put in it and I'll make it even even better. I think it's a very universal um, um, project. I think it'll travel very well. I think there's, um, there's so many different aspects to the work and there's really something there for lots of different countries and I think it's going to be um, fascinating seeing how this show um, grows organically as we do you move throughout different parts of Europe. Painful creatures are hitting the road. Wouldn't you like to meet us? Let's string them up. <laughs>